Hi, welcome to Ancient Yoga for a holistic approach to life. Today I'm going to show you how to make an Ayurvedic herbal shampoo that is easy to make and has a consistency of regular shampoo with the benefits of Ayurveda. The shampoo is excellent for an itchy scalp and to reduce hair fall. A regular use of the shampoo will reverse graying of hair. The main component in this shampoo is Trifala. Traditionally, Trifala is mixed with warm water and is used as a hair wash. But if you are used to regular shampoos, then using Trifala with water will feel weird since it doesn't lather. So today I'm going to show you how to make a nice shampoo that lathers and cleans while using the goodness of Ayurveda's Trifala. So let's get to it. What you need is water, Trifala, a pan, some essential oil of your choice, an organic cast oil soap which I have grated. I make my own soap but you can buy any natural soap. It is easily available either online or at stores. Take 3 cups of water and add 4 tablespoons of Trifala powder to it. Trifala is an amazing preparation in Ayurveda that consists of 3 fruits. Amla ki, Bibita ki and Harita ki. Each of these fruits is a very effective health enhancer and the combination is regarded as a very powerful herbal preparation. The presence of Amla ki in Trifala is known to boost properties of circulation and assist in absorption of various minerals that are important for maintaining healthy hair. It is also a rich source of vitamin C which helps prevent premature graying of hair. Bibitaki helps in making the roots of the hair stronger and minimizing hair fall. Mix it well and bring this to a boil till it reduces to roughly 2 cups of liquid. Trifala will cure the itchy scalp and dandruff. It combats hair fall and it will, make, it will make your hair shinier, smoother and a whole lot healthier because of the three ingredients that are highly nutritive and rich in vitamin C. Allow it to boil till it roughly becomes half the quantity. To this add the grated soap and reduce the heat. Stir it till the soap completely dissolves. Now take it off the heat and set it aside for a few hours. I have left this batch overnight. So the next day you can mix it and add the essential oils. This step is optional. You can use the shampoo as it is but it has a very herbal scent to it. It's up to you which essential oil you want to use depending on how you like your shampoo to smell. This consistency is excellent.
I add a few drops of whatever oil Whatever is antibacterial, antiseptic and very hydrating so it's excellent for your hair Mix it together till it has a very smooth consistency. And that's it, the shampoo is ready. And you can store it in your old shampoo containers. shouldn't have left the funnel aside okay, this is gonna get really messy okay while I fill this up let me tell you how to alter this recipe for your hair type if you have oily hair then add two tablespoons of lemon juice to it I would suggest you mix it in just before you wash your hair that way you use fresh lemon and the shampoo will have a longer shelf life. If you have really dry and frizzy hair then you can add 2 tablespoons of vegetable glycerin to this. It is a natural humectant and will moisturize your hair. And that's it hope you like this recipe if you do try it do let me know how it goes thanks for watching if you like this video then hit the like button and share it with your friends and family to get updates about my latest videos and to stay in touch hit the subscribe button I'll see you next time stay healthy and take care